Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. All right, throttle Thursday time once again. Hey, people, the Mini Cooper is going through some pretty big changes. We're joined right now by Sean Sund of BMW of Escondido. We're talking about, Sean, this is the biggest redesign for Mini Cooper in a while, right? right. Since so, so tell me what, this, uh, what the big changes are and what we can expect. The vehicle was redesigned in 2011, and the horsepower was increased, but it was also able to maintain its phenomenal gas mileage. And you'll notice different wheel designs, how big are the wheels on the Mini Cooper? This is a 16-inch wheel and tire package. Okay. Has run-flat tires. It's my associate Peter inside. What's up, Peter? We have the traditional very large I speedometer like in the That's center. That's my favorite thing about the Mini Cooper. Just and this one, giant speedometer. This one has a manual transmission. Hey, while we keep looking at the inside and then the outside of this Mini Cooper, tell, give me a little history. Because uh, the history of the Mini Cooper goes all the way back to the 50s. And, Correct. And why did it start back then? The Mini Cooper was introduced in, it's a British car, it was introduced in the 50s and designed by uh, Sir Alec Isagonis. Mm -hmm. And they had an open wheel racing history right. before then and it was actually released as one of the first, actually the first transverse engine mounted front wheel drive vehicle on the market. And there was a fuel crisis back in the 50s as well, so they thought, you know what, Correct. why don't we make, and then how ironic, how times change, huh right. Sean? And we're approaching a similar... Uh, crunch for gas right now, so it's a phenomenal vehicle for yes, that. Yes, sir. Okay, so talk to me a little bit more about the, the engine, the horsepower, a little bit of tune-up there as well. So this particular one yeah. is a 1.6 liter motor. Okay. It's 121 horsepower, mm -hmm. and that was increased from the previous model until from 118 horsepower. That's pretty good, though. But, I mean, the size of the car, that's a lot of horsepower. It has plenty got, of horsepower it, for it has the some size of the car. It's, it's a very fun... A friend of mine bought a Mini Cooper mm -hmm. several years back, and I thought, well, he's like 6'1", so I thought, well, you're kind of tall for Right. When I sat in and I was surprised Plenty how much room. space there is inside this thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm 6'3", so, and I own a Mini myself. It's a great car. Plenty of room for me. So, there's, it's, the looks are deceiving, and that was one of the original cues from the 50s. They wanted mm -hmm. four people to fit in the car. And uh, I like the sunroof, by the way. That's, that's cool. It's different. It's a dual pane panoramic oh, sunroof. Let's opens show all the, the way. The, the sticker right here because the MPG is what everybody's talking about these days. Look at the MPG on this thing. 29 city, 37 highway, and the sticker on this uh, puppy is like 25. Right. That's pretty good. Great. Okay, now, now Sean, explain this to me. We have the Countryman. Correct. This is brand new? This is a bit of a departure, but a wonderful new vehicle for Mini. It was introduced in 2011, and this is a vehicle that's helping us capture the folks that have come for a vehicle that didn't have four doors. So it's four full doors. So it's a four-door Mini Cooper. Correct. Now, can we still call it a Mini Cooper if it's not as Mini as the Mini? Of course we can. It's not that much larger. <laughs> How much, uh, what are the dimensions? I mean, what are the differences here? It's about 10 inches longer mm -hmm. in size and a bit more, pardon me, a bit wider. Mm -hmm. So it still does capture the Mini mini feel as far as the driving miles per gallon. Are the, are the features kind of the same? Because the interior looks like a classic Mini Cooper. Very similar like throughout, but new mm -hmm. with the introduction of the Countryman, we have a system called Mini Connect, which is an electronic system contained within the speedometer that mm -hmm. allows you to both sync up your smartphone. Oh, wow. And All the technology. Correct. Wow. Wow. Okay, so the difference here, some people would ask, it's a bigger Mini Cooper, it's a mm -hmm. heavier Mini Cooper, the four doors. Does it affect the, the, the mileage, the gas mileage that you're getting out of this that you would get from the normal Mini Cooper? Since they stuck with the four-cylinder motor, the miles per gallon, mm -hmm. is is still great. And we do have, there's this particular model here, and then we do also have an all-wheel drive. All-wheel drive? Derivative of the car. We have one of those on our showroom right now. My goodness, and take a look at these tires. How about, how about those rims, Sean? Did you put those on special for us on Friday? I am very partial to the black wheels. Oh, man. I like the black wheels. Yeah. Can you explain to my wife? She says she doesn't like black wheels on cars. I say it looks fantastic. I love it. It's a great design cue, and for those of us that may not keep our cars all that clean, it doesn't show all the brake dust. What's the sticker on this thing? It's 25 in the city, 32 highway, so it's really not, it's practically the same. Correct. And you get four doors with your Mini Cooper. Exactly. Board. And the look of it, you know, when I walked down, I saw the front. That's about as aggressive as I've ever seen a Mini right. Cooper. Right? It's a great look. It still incorporates the hood scoop that was on the that is on the Cooper S. What's been the feedback? There's a lot of aficionados, if you will, of the Mini Cooper. When they see this, what's been their feedback? Have they been welcoming to the new changes in the new design, the four doors? Since this vehicle hit our showroom in the first portion of this month, yeah. we've been 
exceptionally busy. So really? everyone wants to come and see it. Really? Mini owners, new mini people. They've had a great response to this car. Beautiful. You want to get inside this one? We're going to rev both of the engines. Sounds good. Mini Coopers, ladies and gentlemen. And you can get this at the, the BMW of Escondido? We are at Mini of Escondido in the auto park in Escondido. Okay, here we go. Okay, start them up. We're going to rev the Mini Cooper engines. Rev them up, guys, for Throttle Thursday. Thanks a lot, Sean. Appreciate it. I didn't know that they had engines like that. Did you see that? Um, the little Mini Coopers. Nice.